Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews here, and today we take a look at the Spigen case for the Pixel 4a. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, Spigen case that I ordered for my Pixel 4a, so if you guys haven't checked out my unboxing of the Google Pixel 4a, go ahead and check it out, right? But basically, I bought this phone, right? And although the phone is mostly uh, of a plastic build, right, so uh, obviously the back is really plastic, you you know, really uh, dropping it is, isn't going to hurt it too much, definitely, but you still want to still protect the screen, obviously, and buying a case will help you protect that investment. So, Spigen, which is one of my favorite brands of cases over here, uh, I bought this on Amazon, which I'll be posting the link down below. But anywho, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the case here, and I'll let you guys know this is me first opening it for the first time. There's a fly flying around. So, so let me open this, get this going here for you guys. If I can get it out, let's see, there we go. So the reason why I went with Spigen mostly is because I normally go with the Spigen on my iPhones and they just really, the cases last a pretty long time and it takes a long time before they get kind of dirty. So, so this specific case, it's somewhat of a matte black finish also just like the actual phone uh, here as you can see here. So it won't uh, get uh, like, you know, it's it won't be too hard to tell the difference between uh, it having a case and not having a case. Although uh, it does have this little I guess grippy portion to it on the top and bottom and on the on the bottom it has like a fiber or carbon fiber looking uh, thing so let's go ahead and get this case on really quick and the inside looks kind of weird I don't know what it says there but it's speaking brand it feels a little bit soft but then it's not at the same time so and let's get the case going and fits like a glove to be honest let's see I don't want to don't want to mess with the volume too much but uh, I like the fact that you know because this sticks out a little bit that it, it basically you know lays flush now that the case is on there and uh, I can kind of complain about the fingerprint reader on the actual Google Pixel 4a uh, kind of hard to find it when you're when it doesn't have a case but now that it has a case easy to find although now it seems like it's a little bit too much in there so but anywho guys uh, you know I just wanted to post this quick video on the Spigen case it's very nice it's very durable you know it's not super hard so when putting this in the pocket, you know, it's going to feel comfortable uh, compared to other cases, you know, again, all the way around. It's got a smooth little texture going from top to bottom. There's your bottom portion of it, so you can still have room for the mic, uh, the USB Type-C charger, and it doesn't block off your speaker grills. Uh, the only thing is you won't be able to see that little pretty uh, power button, which is going to be on top over here on the, to on the top right-hand corner of it, but it should be easy to take off and on. Doesn't feel like a case that will be uh, hard to remove, guys. Let me get that going for you there. So not, uh, very, very nice looking case, guys, for what it is, and again, less than, I believe this case is under $15, so I'm gonna go ahead and post up the link for those people that decide to buy a Google Pixel 4a. Uh, it's going to make the phone feel a little bit heavier, which is not bad because the phone does feel a little bit light uh, in my opinion, right? Uh, but to each, to each his own who, do, who does decide to buy a case, and again, obviously you don't have to buy uh, this specific brand, uh, which is Spigen, but you know, again, it's you know one of my favorite brands as far as uh, the actual uh, phone cases go. So again, guys, this is Mike from BTech Review signing off. Just a quick video on this uh, case and again uh, you buy something like this it's going to help protect your investment on the phone uh, the phone still costs three hundred and fifty dollars uh, currently which you know might not seem like a lot to some people but that might be someone's uh, phone for the next couple years and they really want to take care of it so again guys Mike from BTech signing off we'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching